So, good afternoon, everybody. So, my topic of discussion is inducing liquid crystal and crystalline order by increasing temperature in two temperature active rod fluid. So, before going my to the talk, I first I want to thank APS satellite meeting organizer and my collaborators, Professor Prabal Kumar Maiti, Professor Sriram Ramashami, and Professor Chandan Das Gupta. So, from the name of the title, the first question that arises is what is active matter? And we already heard of it that uh, active matter is made of a large number of active agents which has an ability to consume energy locally and show some global phase behaviors. And there are plenty of examples, as you can see, uh, flocking of birds or schools of fish, etc. So now, conventionally, this active matter is vectorial in nature due to the force of cell propulsion. So the particle, they have a preferred direction for going. And there are many models which can uh, mimic this, uh, uh, the, uh, the action of this vectorial activity, that is V-shaped model or run and tremble particle, active Brownian particle, etc. But there are also many physical and biological system like chromatin separation in nucleus or phase separation in colloidal system where this activity does not need to have any preferred direction. And this type of activity we are telling scalar activity. Now this type of activity can be modeled efficiently by just assigning a different diffusivity or by assigning different temperature between the particles. So here in this talk, I will mainly focus on assigning temperature difference and we are calling it two temperature model. So where the activity is proportional to the effective temperature difference. Now, in literature, there are many systems where this two temperature model has already been applied. Like here you can see, this is a uh, collection of Leonard James particle, where by assigning this temperature, temperature difference, you can see this phase separation. Also in dumbbell or polymer system, this two temperature model has already been applied. But as we know that shape and isotropic particle is very much common in nature like bacterial suspension or subcellular level, etc. So in this talk, I will tell you the effect of two temperature model, which is an efficient model for scalar active system for an isotropic active particle. So first, how we model it? So we model the anisotropic active particle by collection of spherocylinders, which is a geometrical shape with a hemispherical cap. And the shape anisotropy, the amount of anisotropy is measured from the aspect ratio that is length by diameter. So in our system, the only interaction between the spherocylinders are excluded volume interaction, and that is by, uh, defined by this WC potential. So this is our system, and we simulated it by molecular dynamic simulation for L by D5, and we use Berenson thermostat for controlling the temperature. Now, I'm not going to the details of the simulation. So first, uh, before going to the active matter or non equilibrium steps, let me tell you about the equilibrium properties. So here you can see that for the spherocylinders of aspect ratio five, you can see this equation of state, which is well, uh, well uh, explained in the literature that if you start from a crystal structure and slowly melt it, you will go through different liquid crystalline structure and eventually to the isotropic phase. So for L by D5, at T star five, you can see that starting from a crystal structure, you will first go through a smectic, then pneumatic, then isotropic. And these different phases are characterized by calculating pneumatic order parameter, and also where, which is defined here, and also by different pair correlation functions. So I'm not going to the details. So what we have done, so we have taken different equilibrated structure from different phase points here and assign activity. So how we have done that? So for doing so, uh, for doing so, what we have, here you can see we have taken an equilibrated structures, isotropic structures, and we randomly choose half of the particles, slowly increase their temperature, keeping other half of the particles temperature constant. So the difference between these two types of particles, the temperature difference is only the measure of activity. In this picture, you can see this hot particle, this red one, those are the hot particles, that means their temperature is higher. So they are regarded as the active particle in our system. And the other particle, this cold one, these are the passive particles, they are the less temperature particles, and these are the passive particles in our system. So the only the, so we are parameterized this activity as the temperature difference between the constituents of the system. Okay. Now coming to the result part, what we have seen is Starting from a well-equilibrated isotropic structure, 
if you slowly increase the activity that means slowly increase the temperature of the hot particles you not only see phase separation and you can also see some ordering transition between the passive particles so this will be clear if i show you the next video uh, here you can see that how starting from a initial isotropic structure where the particle the temperature is same for the hot and cold particle there is no concept of hot and cold this is the, all temperature is same if you increase the activity that means temperature difference you can see that phase separation is arising and the ordering transition is also happening this is the final structure now we will quantify these two things one by one so first let me uh, tell you how to quantify the phase separation for doing so we divided the simulation box into some different sub boxes and for each sub box we calculate the number difference of hot and cold particles so here you can see this is the density order parameter with activity we have plotted and for different packing fraction like dividend state points we have seen that density order parameter increases monotonically that means phase separation is happening now next part i will tell you how to quantify the ordering so for that we have calculated the pneumatic order parameter separately for cold particles and hot particles here you can see without activity this is the equilibrium pneumatic order parameter transition if you is the temperature if you impose activity the cold particles ordering is going, going to the lower density that is shifting towards the lower density and the isotropic pneumatic transition this point is uh, shifting towards higher density for the hot particle so the temperature difference is actually shifting the isotropic the equilibrium isotropic pneumatic phase transition point so now uh, coming to the another point so up to now what i have told you is only from the isotropic like from a isotropic disordered structure if you just impose a temperature difference how you can go through different order structure this will be also possible if you start from different set points like pneumatic and smectic so here you can see that starting from a pneumatic structure you just can get smectic and eventually to the crystal structure for the cold particles whereas the hot particles they will form isotropic structure similarly if you start from a smectic mixture you will see that cold particles are forming crystal structure but the hot particle are forming pneumatic and eventually it will form isotropic so what we are seeing here that this temperature difference is not only showing you phase separation but also it is showing you a simultaneous phase transition where hot particle is going to the previous lower order state here you can see starting from a pneumatic it is going to isotropic or like that but the cold particle they are for going to the next higher order state so here you can see from pneumatic they are going to smectic and then crystal so this is the the whole results what i have told that is for only one aspect ratio but as you know that aspect ratio has a great impact on the equilibrium phase behaviors like so here comes the so in later i will tell you how, what is the impact of this aspect ratio and the, this type of equilibrium system so here comes the onsager's limit which tells that any amount of aspect ratio will not give you liquid crystal ordering there is an cut off limit that is 3.7 it uh, he showed analytically that below this 3.7 aspect ratio l by d you will not get pneumatic structure or order structure and the similar thing has been also pointed out by bolhius and frankel and they have showed computationally that below 3.7 you will not get pneumatic state and below 3.1 you can see here you know, will not get any smectic state so in uh, in equilibrium there is a cut off limit below which you cannot get liquid crystal phases so what what we have done we have followed the same protocol which i discussed earlier just by assigning temperature difference and have seen that for aspect ratio 2 l by d2 we have seen smectic phase in the cold part, cold zone after phase separation and for l by d3 we have seen pneumatic state in the cold zone so these phases we have uh, uh, we have summarized here where you can see for l by d3 you will not get pneumatic state in equilibrium what we can get here for our active system active this two temperature system for l by d2 you will not get any smectic structure what we can get for the active system so what we can get from this analysis that this two temperature model not only give rise to phase separation and order transition it also can give rise to some phases that are not available in equilibrium 
for the respective aspect ratio. So what we can say that two temperature model by this, we can, uh, we can study an extension of Onsager's limit in non-equilibrium system. So now the question is why these things are happening. So for that, I have calculated different thermodynamical properties locally. So for doing so, what I have done is we divide the simulation box into some sub boxes and uh, not, uh, for, into some slabs. And for each slabs, we calculate different thermodynamical properties like packing fraction, effective temperature, pressure, et cetera. What you can see here that without activity, that means temperature is when same, this is homogeneously spaced, what it should be. But when you are increasing the activity, that means you are increasing the temperature, but you are seeing that this density is distributed like this and then this and eventually this. So, the thing, so this here, this region is the cold region. See, this is the interface, this is the hot. So what is happening? That the density of the particular packing fraction is decreasing from the cold zone to hot zone. Similarly, if you calculate effective temperature, you can see that effective temperature is increasing from cold to hot zone through the interface. Now, if you calculate uh, the pressure, there you can see that the kinetic pressure that is the kinetic pressure from, coming from the kinetic part of the protein, uh, of the of the force that is increasing from cold to hot zone, which it should be because hot particle have higher temperature, but the virial pressure that is decreasing from cold to hot zone that also should be because the cold particles have higher density. So there is a competition between the kinetic and the virial pressure, which as a whole making the total pressure on, uh, balanced at the interface. So for making the total pressure balance, so the mechanical stability is maintained at the interface, there is a competition between this uh, kinetic and the virial pressure. And that is why this type of order desired transition, these things are happening. So here I want to tell another point that is that though the temper, what I have told that the temp, uh, activity is coming from temperature difference, that should only happen at the interface. But we are seeing a, a monotonic temperature profile throughout the box. So though the temperature difference should be ideally at the interface, but its effect, the effect of activity is throughout the system. So which we got, uh, we thought interesting and we are working on it. So with this, I want to end my talk. So what we get is, Two temperature model can give rise to phase separation and ordering transition in uh, soft repulsive ferrocylinders. Also, this two temperature model can give rise to some phases that are not available in equilibrium. And uh, what governs it? We have seen that to maintain the pressure balance at the interface, this type of transition is happening. So we believe our work, uh, this two temperature model can be applied in uh, for generalizing the two temperature model beyond spherical limit and also many experimental system. So as in one line summary, you can see this paper, which says that heating can also lead to liquid crystal and crystalline order in active fluid. With this, I want to thank and thank you for your- Thank you, yeah. If I understood properly, then actually the is it the heating is the main role for ordering or the just like you explain accept uh, the aspect ratio that is the i think aspect ratio is much more uh, relevant term for order that liquid crystal ordering all other things that the heating is playing a role of separating that is understood i think uh, aspect ratio that is playing more no role. not that thing so the heating is what you told that is correct that heating has uh, impact but the thing is here you can see that i have told you the pressure profile so there is an external pressure at the interface that is driving you the ordering transition that's why it is happening for your uh, other lyd also which should not give equilib in equilibrium the order structures okay, okay. so the heating actually is causing some pressure and an isotropic pressure and that is causing these things this ordering okay. now you in that line if if you now just like in front for any boundary things if you put you can control the pressure less just like you explained this kind of see things. we are only controlling temperature difference other things that is just happening as a result we are not we are just controlling temperature difference this is just outcome of that okay okay any other questions Shumantra? Um, so usually like, you know, when you take a passive particle, like a dead bacteria and 
active particle like an alive bacteria, they undergo phase separation. So can you map your model to those kind of systems? Yes. So the thing is that only thing we have to think that for bacteria active and passive, most of the cases, the particles active has a directionality or self propulsion. But here we say that it need not to be. So for the bacteria also, if you say that if, uh, motile and non-motile bacteria like this, that type of things can be modeled with our system. So like, what does the temperature correspond to in that case? Uh, what I have got that for the temperature difference should be like in the Leonard Jones, what unit I have used, that is within two or three like that. No, no. It's what I'm saying, like, what will be the correspond to a cold bacteria or, sorry, so you have cold particles. Cold particle may be non-motile bacteria, the hot particle may be the active bacteria, but the motile, sorry, the motile bacteria. Okay. Or, or you can say that there are some suspension, you are giving some, uh, some food or something, the bacteria which is much more uh, affected by the food, they have the, their motility is high, so they will act as a hot particle and the other particles will be act as a passive particle, so non-homogeneous activity. I, uh, so I wanted to ask uh, that uh, this rod particle, instead of rod particle, if you take a mixture of uh, sphere, spherical and rod mm. and make the spherical as the hotter particle, mm. see, what do you expect? Similar things will happen? Uh, yes. The, so there what will be, there another effect will come that is here also it is there depletion interaction. So no need means if you also don't uh, put the temperature difference, only a mixture of rod and bits that can give rise a different type of phenomena. But now if you are, what you are telling, that is a, a rods in an active system. So there I think similar, similar means the particles will be ordered or they can move in a similar fashion like that. Not but, exactly what I have showed. But, but the some, spherical particles are, uh, have more temperature and the rod like has less temperature. Huh, that is there, but what it will be, so it will try to increase the entropy of whatever and the rod, rod like particle, they will try to come uh, closer so that that excluded volume part is decreases. Yes. So I think that type of, like, that, that it will come, so let's say at the first you have the one dot particle very much apart, they will come closer. This one only I expect. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So you need not to think about concentration. Your first, uh, your starting point is different concentration from different state points. That is equilibrium. It may be smectic, may be pneumatic, whatever. Then you are just increasing temperature, whatever dynamics happening, that is happening. How many of the Oh, okay. Here, okay, I got it. Here is, I understood. Here we have done 50%, like half of the particle we have taken. But there are also study which it says that uh, minimum how many particles you have to uh, make active to see this type of non equilibrium features. There is upper limit, but that I have not studied. I have done with 50%, but there is studies. Yeah. So if the bank code shows a, a smectic and this was a thematic and it makes it this was cybotactic mass uh, like of smectic within a pneumatic. So that's Achha. the basic ratio. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. But huh, there is a systematic study where uh, you can change the uh, the particle number of particle or the fraction of this and Yes, yes, that is there. But here we on, only wanted to see the act, wow temperature difference case. So we are not that much uh, in the concentration level. Yeah. Okay. Thank you again, Joita. Thanks to all the speakers, all the audience.